I first want to reiterate that this type of behavior has no place at City Hall or in any workplace. It must be condemned. We have started the process of getting the answers that Karen deserves so that a situation like this never happens again. Yesterday, we held a special council meeting to make necessary changes to strengthen our councillor code of conduct. The changes clarified that even if police are investigating the conduct of a councillor, the city's integrity commissioner is still obliged to investigate if a complaint on the same matter is made and once the criminal investigation is closed. This is important because our integrity commissioner initially declined to investigate the complaint made by Karen Rass because police were already investigating it. The change we made ensures that this will never happen again. My thanks to Councillor Pat Sato for drafting and moving the motion and to Council for supporting it unanimously. Council also heard from our Integrity Commissioner, Robert Swayze, who assured Council that an investigation into this matter is already underway and a report back to Council and the public will be made in the weeks to come. My goal now, and I believe the goal of our Council, is to get to the bottom of this, get the justice Karen deserves, and move on with the business of governing this city. This is City News Everywhere.